Just as you go over the bridge between the Pelican Inn and the beach where the water comes through, you come around the corner and the air starts coming alive. You start seeing monarchs sort of flitting about in those eucalyptus groves. And you look straight up into the air and it's like confetti flying around. Thousands and thousands of cascading butterflies. And now I don't think you ever see them at all anymore. It's kind of sad. Monarch butterflies migrate to California and Mexico to winter every year, but over the past decade, their numbers have dwindled. The reasons that the species are declining are linked to human activities. People like to call it kind of a perfect storm because there's a lot of factors. It's climate change, losing their habitat, insecticides, pesticides, and herbicides. To think that we as people have some responsibility in that makes me so sad. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is an agency that works to put animals on the Endangered Species Act, a primary law that protects endangered species and their habitats. The Center for Biological Diversity petitioned the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to list the monarch butterfly as endangered. In the case of monarch butterflies, we have a perfect example of the private right of action. Congress gave private parties, environmental groups, the ability to sue under the act. The Center for Biological Diversity sued to force the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to consider whether monarch butterflies should be listed as endangered species. The Fish and Wildlife Service did so. Unfortunately, they said, we don't have time to protect it. My belief is that decision by the Fish and Wildlife Service was under the Trump administration and was a politically motivated decision. If you follow the money, you will find out where the environmental problem originates. If the Fish and Wildlife Service were to grant critical habitat designation to the monarch butterfly, it would be over farms that produce corn and soy and they would have to stop using pesticides and herbicides. They wouldn't make as much money. In April of 2021, the Center for Biological Diversity filed another lawsuit to compel the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to list monarch butterflies under the Endangered Species Act. The ability for private groups and private individuals to sue under the Endangered Species Act and other environmental laws is a critical check on the government. And it's been used time and time and again to force the government to do what's right, to protect species and to protect our environment. You can always have another soybean field. You can never invent another monarch because they play a really important ecological role. It's not just about monarchs, it's really about having a healthy ecosystem and having this biodiversity. It's easy to say, what's one butterfly gone from the food web? What does it matter? But when something falls out of the chain, so many things can topple down and it's hard to know what will topple when you remove something before it happens. So the best thing to do is prevent it from being removed in the first place. In addition to efforts in court to force the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to protect the monarch butterflies under the Endangered Species Act, there are other acts seeking to protect their existence. 
The Monarch Act of 2021 would grant $62.5 million over a duration of five years for the Western Monarch Butterfly Conservation Plan. And the Monarch Pollinator Highway Act would allocate $5 million over six years. This money would be used to plant native grass, wildflowers, and monarch host plants on roadsides and highways. With these acts in place, the monarch butterflies still have a chance at survival. I think often people can think, you know, monarchs, that's just one specific type of butterfly. And why are we working so hard to protect them? But I think it's important because they are such icons in our culture. They have a lot of sentimental value. Every little kid grows up and can recognize a monarch. When you see a butterfly fly by, it uplifts your heart. And being able to have that kind of connection to nature is so powerful. It's kind of part of our birthright.